leading speaker. Doctor Sai Dixit. Yes, sir. Can you block? Yeah, please. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Mm. Today's my topic is uh, facial hair like block, ma'am. Mm. Uh, I, I would like to explain this thing in following uh, headings: uh, introduction, anatomy, and uh, indications, contraindications, complications, and the procedures. Sir. Very good. Okay. Mm. Uh, facial lack of blocks of introduction. It is an anterior approach to lumbar plexus. It is a simple block for post-operative pain relief for procedures and injuries involving the hip, anterior thigh and knee. Uh, delivery of the sufficient volume of local anesthesia behind the fascia iliaca causes compartment block. Fascia iliaca comp compartment block, sir. Uh, anatomy. Uh, it facial iliac compartment. It is a potential space bounded by anteriorly facial iliac, overlaid by facial iliac, posteriorly by iliopsoas muscle, uh, cranio laterally by inner lip of iliac crest, cranio medially continuous uh, with the space between the quadratus lumborum and the iliac uh, its fascia. Uh, Hip joint uh, is a hip joint consists of uh, femoral head, neck, uh, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, and uh, socket acetabulum, sir. This innervation of uh, hip joint uh, by most uh, uh, by three nerves, sir: femoral nerve, lateral cutaneous uh, femoral nerve, and obturator nerve, sir. Uh, femoral nerve uh, from uh, originate from the L2, L3, L4. Which covers anterior, anterior and medial portion of the thigh and the knee, and the cutaneous innervation of medial and the lateral port, uh, portion of the thigh uh, and the periosteum of femur also, sir. And uh, lateral cutaneous femoral nerve, which is originated from the L2 L3 nerve, uh, which covers lateral, which innervates lateral buttock and uh, lateral thigh and knee joint, and uh, obturator nerve which originates from L2, L3, L4, which covers medial thigh, hip joint, and uh, adductor muscle, sir. Uh, indications um, uh, for periop analgesia, for uh, fracture of uh, neck of femur, and also for adjuvant analgesia for shaft of femur and hip surgery, and uh, adjuvant analgesia, uh, analgesia for uh, total hip orthoplasties, uh, and uh, abony amputations and uh, knee surgeries in combination with uh, sciatic nerve block and uh, lower limb tonic pain also, sir. Uh, contraindications in uh, in patients refusal previous femoral bypass surgeries, allergy to lo local anesthesia, uh, infections, inflammation at the in injection site, septic arthritis of hip joint. And on patient is on anticoagulants, sir. Mm. Complications, uh, block failure, IV injections, uh, sometimes uh, uh, local acidic toxicity, and also infections, sir. Advantage of this uh, facial lack of block is uh, doesn't require any uh, nerve stimulator, not very painful, and a good compartment nerve block from hip to knee, significant reduction of requirement of opioids, Reduced, uh, decreases DVT rate, early immobilization uh, during post-operatively, and low skilled inexpensive, inexpensive and effective techniques, sir. And avoid injury to nerve and artery. Catheter uh, and also catheter can be placed for continuous post-op analgesia, also, sir. Next, uh, going to uh, 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 procedure, sir. It by uh, procedure under by four piece, sir. Preparation, procedure, uh, position, projection, and uh, puncture, sir. Uh, first, uh, uh, preparation, sir. Uh, patient preparation and OT preparation, sir. In patient preparation, NPO status should be confirmed, consent should be taken, and uh, one venous access should be secured, and the standard monitors uh, should be applied, like ECG, BP, pulse oximetry, sir. And the OTA preparation, emergency drugs should be kept ready like atropine, adrenaline, thiopentan. And airway equipment uh, uh, measures should be there like face mask, ET tube, airways, 
and the suction apparatus and uh, uh, for giving local anesthesia 1% lignocaine or 0.5% anavin in equal proportions uh, around 25 to 30 ml and a 3.5 inch uh, block needle and uh, 20 cc needle sir uh, next to position sir patient should be in supine position uh, stand on the same side of the block sir uh, actually there are two techniques sir one uh, landmark guided and ultrasound guided sir first uh, i would like to describe uh, landmark guided sir and as aseptic precautions identify uh, identification of landmarks should be there sir line uh, a line drawn from the anterior superior iliac uh, spine to pubic tubercle, sir, and junction of outer one third and anterior two third, uh, two centimeters distal to the junction needle entry point is, sir, uh, and doesn't require any stim nerve stimulator, sir. Ne needle should be in, can be inserted perpendicular to the skin till two pop felt. Uh, first pop uh, passes through the fascia later and second pop passes through the fascia iliaca, sir. A negative aspiration, uh, uh, we can, uh, 25 to 30 ml of local anesthetic can be injected, sir. And the injection at a 30 degree angle to the skin in cradially directed and after the pressure applied over the injected site for 10 seconds, sir. Uh, ultrasound guided uh, there are um, okay, approach are two two approaches, sir. Infra inguinal approach and supra inguinal approach, sir. Uh, preparation and uh, position, everything is like a landmark uh, technique only, sir. Uh, in this uh, high frequency linear probe, uh, taken should be taken, sir. Place it transfer uh, transversely to identify femoral artery and at the inguinal crease, sir. Identify uh, iliopsoas muscle with the fascia covering. Uh, and uh, at the depth of two to four centimeters lateral to the facial artery, sir. And uh, face, uh, we can see facial artery above. Artery, facial artery, femoral artery. Yes, sir, sir, femoral, sorry, sir, femoral artery. And uh, facial later above the fascia iliaca, we can see, sir. Uh, probe tilted and uh, unmoving the probe laterally, see, probe tilted cranially, caudally until optimal image of femoral nerve and fascia iliaca is obtained, sir, and moving probe laterally, triangular uh, shape sartorius muscle and uh, anterior superior iliac spine uh, is identified, sir. Uh, under septic precautions, uh, low, first local anesthesia, uh, local infiltration should be given, sir, and uh, 50 to 100 mm blunted needle inserted in, play, in plane technique, sir. The, our aim is to place the needle tip beneath the fascia iliaca around the lateral one third of line between the anterior superior iliac spine and the um, pubic tubercle, sir. Following an uh, aspiration, in, uh, inject 1 to 2 ml of local anesthesia first, sir. Uh, correct needle placement is confirmed by separation of fascia iliaca from the iliopsoas muscle, sir. Okay. And uh, local anesthetic uh, spreading towards the femoral nerve medially and the iliac crest laterally, sir. And uh, always a safe dose of lim safe dose limit of local anesthesia around 30 to 40 ml should be given, sir. Uh, second approach is a supra inguinal approach, sir. And position and uh, uh, preparation is same as like uh, uh, landmark technique and infra uh, infra inguinal approach, sir. Uh, and the high frequency probe should be used, sir. And uh, placed sagittally to obtain an image of ilium and iliacus muscle, sir. And uh, moving the probe medially and inferiorly, femoral artery can be seen, sir, along the inguinal ligament. If we move uh, probe laterally and superiorly towards the superior iliac spine, uh, along the uh, inguinal ligament, uh, lateral to the femoral nerve, sir. And, uh, we have to main see the have to see the main mainly uh, uh, the uh, the subtenance. It's stuck here. We have to we are stuck in the identification of structure. An artery, sir. We have to see mainly one artery, sir. Inferior. 
deep inferior gas infra inferior gastric artery oh ah uh, my sir near, near the inguinal canal that will be there uh, yes sir uh, deep circumflex artery sir complex artery yes uh, i didn't you have to identify sir first uh, which is lying superficial to the facial tract sir and uh, which provides a landmark of needle insertion sir Uh, and we have to insert needle two to four centimeter caudally to the inguinal ligament, aiming beneath the facial area, sir, and cranially. And the local anesthetic spread will be seen between facial area and iliacus muscle uh, into the iliac fossa, sir. Um, we can see one sign, sir, bow tie sign, uh, where probe mode medially facial area. Uh, sartorius iliopsoas and interior oblique muscle uh, will be seen like a bow tie sign sir uh, the 100 mm needle is inserted and 1 cm uh, cephal cephalic to the inguinal ligament sir using in plane approach hydro dissect the facial area from the iliacus muscle beneath the fascia, uh, fascia and advance further the cranio cranio dorsal sir uh, an injection uh, an injection considered uh, successful if spread uh, ob- observed cranially sir finish then no, yes sir okay so fairly decent presentation of all that one thing uh, you said about fasting guidelines to be observed but uh, yes, nowadays they use the special ek compartment block as what is called the on arrival block especially for elderly people who come with hip fractures to immediately relieve the pain of the fracture so the patient can be mobilized for x rays and uh, uh, other treatments or other investigations uh, painlessly so they give it uh, soon after the patient has been coming to the emergency room itself so it is always not mandatory to observe the fasting guidelines for this because it's a, uh, a local anesthetic procedure mainly given as a pain relieving technique uh, once you give this block you know subsequent uh, surgery also for uh, position it for spinal that also gets helps so some centers uh, insert a catheter and try to give a continuous pain relief instead of a single shot so that uh, till the patient undergoes the surgical procedure he can be get pain free which is especially very useful in elderly people to avoid the cognitive dysfunctions and uh, other uh, uh, physiotherapy or the position change to prevent bed sores all that is very useful so uh, strict fasting is not required for that and okay, the pre operative preparation is always better to have an iv access uh, along with other preparations that you do so that in case there is a local anesthetic toxicity or direct intravascular injection you may be able to manage that better than uh, without an iv access so these are the two points that uh, i'd like to add to this okay sir uh, just to have a visual uh, idea about this so just uh, go through the you also missed out on use of intra life sir the in the preparation of the tray ah, for yeah. emergency drugs please mm-hmm. include intra life yes always okay. uh, because you in dupi vacant yeah yes So, is it visible now, the screen? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Visible, sir. So, the facial iliac block indications are uh, mainly for anterior thigh and knee surgery. It can be used as a sole anesthetic technique for surgery itself, or it can be used for analgesia following hip and knee procedures. And you commonly do it with a transducer. So, you ultrasound guided is much. Was, uh, better than doing it uh, by landmark technique or blindly so the transducer position is transverse close to the femoral crease and to the lateral to the femoral artery so this is how you keep the probe 
a parallel to the inguinal ligament and uh, a, this is the infra inguinal approach which you will see later so this is how you hold the probe and try to identify the structures and goal is to uh, achieve a medial lateral spread of local anesthetic underneath the facial iliac fascia okay so iliacus muscle has got a facial layer so it should be under the fascia above the muscle that is where it has to be deposited and the local anesthetic required is usually 20 to 40 ml of very dilute or low concentration anesthetic now what is the ultrasound anatomy what are the structures you have to see this is located this fascia is located anterior to the iliacus muscle on its surface which is within the pelvis and it is bound supralaterally by the iliac crest and medially and merges medially with the fascia overlying the psoas muscle so commonly we call this muscle as the iliopsoas muscle rather than iliacus muscle separately and the femoral and lateral cutaneous nerves of the thigh lie underneath the fascia iliaca in their intra pelvic course so that is the idea why we have to deposit correctly above the muscle and underneath the fascia now this is the anatomical picture which will give you an idea about how the structures are there so this is the iliopsoas muscle and this is the fascia under which you have to, this blue thing is your local anesthetic so it will go and uh, engulf or encircle the femoral nerve and uh, the branches gentle femoral nerve is there femoral artery femoral vein all these things are there so it is the idea to allow the drug to spread from lateral to medial to enclose this nerve and this is the infra inguinal fascia iliaca block and this is the supra inguinal you can uh, go above the iliac crest I mean, anterior spine, and then uh, you start from the stratus muscle, and then internal oblique muscle. If you see all these structures, if it is given in the ultrasound image, then it is a supraanguinal approach. You have the deep circumflex iliac artery is there, and uh, iliacus muscle is there. So, a panoramic view of the US ultrasound anatomy. See, this is the lateral one third, middle one third, and medial one third of the uh, uh, thigh. So the tensor facial lateral muscle is there. Then there is a uh, sartorius muscle is there in the lateral one third. When you come to the middle third, the tensor facial lateral disappears. You get the sartorius and the iliacus muscle. And you come a little more medial, you find the femoral nerve is there, femoral artery is there, and the iliacus muscle and fascia iliaca is there. So you always try to locate the femoral artery and nerve by moving the probe from the lateral to medial direction. Then once you identify these two structures, you will be easily able to identify the muscle and the fascia above that. So that is how the probe should be moved. And the anesthesia you will get is over these areas. A mostly anterior aspect of the thigh, medial aspect of the knee, the medial aspect of the calf, up to the ankle and the <coughs> foot. So this is the area of distribution. The equipment that you read is a ultrasound machine with a linear transducer, sterile sleeve and gel, standard nerve block tray, two 20 ml syringes containing local anesthetic. 80 to 100 millimeter 22 gauge short bevel needle for eliciting the pop also facial piercing and sterile gauze all these things come in a package some nowadays and uh, the landmarks and patient positioning performed with the patient in supine position several artery is first visualized by placement of the transducer transversely on the inguinal crease moving laterally or medially then tilting the probe will, and while pressing, identify the upper hyperechoic fascia iliaca superficial to the hip muscle. And medially, the femoral nerve. Look at this, Rana. Actually, Naturally, the sartorius muscle is identified by the typical uh, triangular shape compared to transducer. So, this is the sartorius muscle. The iliopsoas 
This is the fascia iliaca, femoral femoral artery. All these things are there in this picture. So sometimes uh, this sort of pictures are given in your ASCII. So uh, remember that it is the uh, structures we have to identify for fascia iliaca compartment block. Coming to the technique, skin is disinfected, transducer positioned as said earlier, identify the femoral artery, and then the iliopsoas muscle and fascia iliaca. Transducer move laterally until the sarcoidal muscle is also identified. After skin wheel is made, needle is inserted in plane. And you can also try to elicit that pop feeling. It's not that you always visualize it on the ultrasound image, but you try to get the pop feeling also. After negative aspiration, inject 1 to 2 ml to see whether it is spreading correctly in that plane. And proper injection will result in the separation of the fascia uh, from medial to lateral direction. In adults, 20 to 40 ml is required. In children, 0 0.7 ml per kg is commonly used. The success of the block is predicted by documentation of the spread of local anesthetic towards the femoral nerve medially and underneath the sartorius muscle laterally. So that is the way it should spread. In obese patient, you may use out of plane because the, uh, in plane sometimes you may not be able to do that. So this is how the needles look like, the various things. The first picture is the insertion. Sartorius muscle is there, heliosovas muscle. We just go pierce the fascia and stop. Don't go into the substance of the muscle. That is very, very important. And initial injection, you see nicely the whole thing spreading. Okay? So that is how the whole thing is uh, injected. And um, position of the needle tip for fascia iliac and nerve block, a simulated spread. This picture, lower picture is the supraanguinal approach. The upper picture is the intraanguinal. So above is the supraanguinal. Needle path is simulated. Local anesthetic spread is seen here. And uh, it goes, you can see the external uh, the oblique muscle and sartorius muscle here in the infraanguinal approach. Whereas you won't see the external oblique in the infraanguinal. <clears throat> so this is the picture for infraanguinal as I showed earlier. You can see uh, this is the pubic tubercle mark. That is the iliac spine. This is the lateral one third. Probe is parallel to the uh, Inguinal crease. And this is the infraanguinal approach. And this is the, you can see the same thing, anterior superior spine is there, but the needle is above that. Whereas here it is the below the anterior superior spine. And so this is the approach where you see, you see the sartorius muscle, external oblique, layers, all these things are seen in this. This is the supraanguinal approach. Okay. So that is how the thing happens. So just to show you and give you a visual idea of what you have been hearing, that is the idea of this presentation, but not a very detailed one. So all the indications, contraindications are all the same. So you can use that word, what is called the on arrival block. For this, this is becoming more and more popular nowadays rather than the other techniques. Earlier it was a pure femoral nerve block which was given, but because it occupies and catches the lateral uh, cutaneous, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve also, the quality of analgesia is much better with this type of block rather than the isolated femoral nerve block. Thank you, sir. Students, any doubts? If it is a, yeah, if it is a theory question, I'm sure we'll be able to draw at least a basic uh, minimum of the anatomy. Yeah, you should be practice that. If you're getting a theory question, you should be able to draw a basic uh, uh, um, anatomy. Just remember the muscles and the layer and nearing structures. You can easily put a line drawing. Uh, the bony landmarks are anterior superior expand pubic tubercle. Then, if uh, below that the femoral artery nerve and then the fascia lata and fascia iliaca 
lines. And above that you go, you get the sartorius and uh, directly into the so we go ahead with the other next topic. Last they are topic. going to block only femoral nerve or other nerves also is going to block. Yeah, if, if you breathe, uh, you can block the lateral cutaneous nerve of the eye also with this. But operator is not possible. You will block uh, lateral cutaneous nerve and the femoral nerve. Okay, sir. Yeah. 